Welcome back, everybody, once again to Starberry Jam number 24, Machines. I am TJ the Obscure with you, and today we are playing, um, I think the name of this one is Uncrushable. And it's another one of these maps that is intended to be incredibly, incredibly difficult. Realm hack with the bedrock, we're starting off with a, I forget how many, is that four blocks? I always forget if it's four or five for the max jump. Uh, rules, complete the monument, and uh, the maker of this map is uh, F Dag Pig J. So you figure out how to pronounce that. It's like it's like this. It's like F Dag Pig J. So yeah, um, your guess is as good as mine. Anyways, uh, no peaceful difficulty, no cheat commands or external editors, no exploring natural nether terrain. Everything else is allowed. Have fun. Everything else, okay. Uh, bum -ba -da bum bum bum. Let's go ahead and change it to hard. Idiot test. Um. Whoa. Okay. How will we? Can you now reach farther whenever you're shifting? It seems like it, huh? Yeah, you go down half a block, so we're actually within range there. Was that intentional? F dag pig J. <laughs> was, was that intentional? Um. I'm tempted to break the glowstone. Oh, gosh dang it. Okay. Well, it's going to take me a few times to get this jump, I imagine. Just because... Oh, why didn't I do that? No, no, no. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. I'm not the best at... Well, that's an interesting start to this map. Um... <laughs> Maybe I can get a, a sneak peek at some of the... Other areas? Oh, gosh. Okay, as long as I press forward, we're okay. Oh, gosh. It's really... It's going to take me a long time. A long, long time, I imagine. It is possible... Gosh, okay. I'm reloading the map. I'm reloading the map. Gosh dang it. Uh, well, we're probably going to mess up on the jump. But we can at least try to take the sword with us. Try and fail. Try and fail. Ooh, okay, got it. Not too bad. That's dangerous. Night vision potion. I'm guessing that means very limited torches. Regen machine places an item spawner. That sounds interesting. The basics, apples. That's, you know, just lovely. I love apples. Um, there's a sign there. That looks like it's probably the monument, to be honest. I removed a bunch of crafting recipes and added a few custom ones. Most notably, you can make crafting tables and stone tools with bedrock. Push the nearby button to unlock all recipes so they show up in the recipe book. Most mobs drop bedrock on top of their usual drops. This is interesting. The map has machines that act as a source of a small, excuse me, small selection of infinite resources. These machines are found as bat spawn eggs and chests that spawn a falling sand entity, which in turn becomes a spawner when it lands. The spawner will spawn item entities in a tiny range around it. Unfortunately, survival mode players cannot properly place spawners directly. Natural regeneration is turned off. Your primary source of healing will be regen potions that you get from machines. However, you have permanent hunger too in the map, so you might... Want to hurry up and find the first food machine before you starve. The game is paused while you read books in single player. Weather is turned off, so don't bother with cauldrons for water. Okay, so we can do this. Indeed. And it said that we can make tools and stuff with it. Indeed. Let's go to make our basic tools. All these new textures are very confusing. I don't know if we necessarily want to use these for blocks. And what is this? Uh, reveal all recipes. Noob cavern. Oh gosh. Okay. Thankfully, it's okay. Yeah. Um, let's put some of these guys up just in case we happen to die. I think is probably a good idea. Uh, a few torches. And let's get another one of these on the bar. Um, let's just make sure that this is indeed the monument. We have light gray wool, gray wool, and black wool. And then we also have a grass block and cobblestone. Okay. Let's make sure we take the crafting bench with us. 
Leave all that there, and sure, we'll grab some of those guys. Uh, okay, there's a chest up top. Is that a charge creeper? Okay, no. Nope, not a charge creeper. Any other chests? Does not look like it. Let's see if we can get out of range. Nope. Uh, oh gosh, okay. I don't know if that was a good idea. Was that... I... Oh gosh, I don't know you guys. Um... Okay, I can't... I, I just lost, right? I think I just lost. Uh... Whew. Right? Yeah? Is there any way for me to get through? I'm trying to think now. I had a water bucket, yeah. Uh... Yeah, no, I think we just lost. Gosh dang it, really? Okay, this almost seems like something you're going to have to speed run. Because I'm surrounded on all sides. Or I guess maybe take it really, really slowly. I should have conquered that first room before I tried to progress through it. Um... Huh. There's really, there's really nothing that I can do to get rid of this, right? What, what, um, crafting recipes do we have? I honestly, I don't know how to use this crafting thing. Is it the white? The white is what's unlocked. Okay. Is that everything? That's how we show only craftable. It's just just the crafting bench. Uh okay. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Ooh, I don't know, guy. It actually seems really interesting, but that five block jump at the beginning is going to be the Thing that makes me not want to play this map. Oh, okay. I guess I'll try restarting once again. But all right. So when I was on the map, I just realized this is the idiot test. We're supposed to do this, I imagine. Oh gosh. Okay. I'm glad that that actually came through. And then we can place the block, and it makes it much easier to make that jump. Um, I probably shouldn't even have those on the bar. I don't know. Just because, like, I'm... Do I even want to place that there? <laughs> I have no idea. This A lot of this is very, very new to me. And I'm thinking that we probably won't be coming back, so we should take, I guess, most of those. And once again, let's... Um, oh, we don't craft sticks that way. Let's do what we did before. And I guess I will simply focus on conquering this room before we move on. By the way, I really liked that uh, modern version on the idiot test. I thought that was pretty creative. And hey, it only took me, you know, 10 minutes or so to figure it out. Um, but, but I guess we will be coming back here, right? Just because that's where the monument is. Uh, okay, well, we should go ahead and get to it then, I think. Now let's start by... Trying to get a torch down on each one of these. And then we will slowly destroy them. Hopefully before we get hit. Like so. And like so. And one more time. And let's go ahead and, uh, whew. Hey, no, you're supposed to be there, and you're supposed to be there. Um, will that work? Can they get up to me from here? I guess we'll find out. 
Oh, he just dropped some stuff for us. We do have to be careful about food here, though. As the map maker so graciously warned us. Yeah, they drop iron, it looks like. I didn't press the button, did I? I don't think so. So that we unlock everything, we got two pieces of iron. Um, that does not pause it. Okay. I was thinking it might. Make use of our axe. The hunger actually isn't too bad. Although I probably shouldn't speak too soon. Let's not show all. We can make a pressure plate. Fantastic. Some iron nuggets. Uh, I think that's it though, right? Some shears. So that means we can't make a sword? Really? Huh. Alright. I don't even know if I'll use this night vision, to be honest. It's not something I ever got into the habit of using. Um, that's right, there's more... more sticks. Uh, I think let's leave... Most of that there? Oh gosh, I don't know what to think, you guys. We still can't make much of anything. I want to try... Can we make anything with the iron nuggets now, no? Huh. We can make some... No, we can't make golden apples even? I guess not. So why did we get the gold? I have no idea. Uh, no, we don't want the potion. Let's do that. We got enough torches. I don't know if I should be putting stuff up or what. I have no idea. <laughs> let's, just, let's just go. Uh, warm up exercise. Um. I don't even know. Man. It's like there's stuff out there that I want to I want to read, but then we got all these guys coming after us. I almost feel like he uh gave the zombies extra knockback protection or something. It's gonna take a little while to Oh no, it well, won't. We can use one of these, right? He said no natural health regen, yes. And it's just regen one? Ah. Okay. Oh, go away. Um, I'll be honest right now, I'm not liking this just because it's trying... Go away! Doing things that I don't normally do. It's forcing me to do things that I don't normally do. And that is making me very uncomfortable. Um, okay. What did it say? Snake. A gateway. And what happens if I just block it all off? Is this somewhere that we need to go? Like, is this important? I have no idea. We'll leave one, one hole open, I guess. But otherwise, I'm just gonna not, I'm not close the rest of it off, I suppose. I don't know if this is officially an area. Or not. And it's totally possible that we're... We're gonna lose things as a result of doing this. I do not know. Gosh, I'm having, I'm having problems just trying to figure out what to even do. Certainly some interesting things going on. Uh, that... That's most definitely true. Uh, let's back it up so maybe we can avoid some of the other zombies from tracking us. Looks like that's gonna be unlikely. 
Oh, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Ooh, a carrot. I kind of wish the regen potions were splash potions. Um, I, did we just block off all of it? I think there's still that one. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I want to leave one hole open, but... And it, it, blocking it off at this point isn't going to mean anything if the zombies just keep tracking to us. I'm just wondering if, if it would be possible if we place a block right there... Well, even if we jump up now, unless we have, unless we make ladders, which I don't think we can make now. Uh, is, is there, can I make like a... Oh, the chest, right? The chest. Yes, the chest. Let's grab this one out here, though. I can place that there and still break it. But we'll need... Multiple chests? I have no idea. This is like a, it's like a puzzle and a map all at the same time. Um, and I would really like to be able to make another chest. I can make redstone. Oh, that's how. Uh, yeah. Let's just ooh, let's just place that redstone block there. That that makes sense, right? That should work. Yeah, if we place the redstone block there, we should be okay. Zombies, the baby zombies will still still be able to get down, although I guess if we just grab another redstone block. Oh, come on. Come on, game. Hey, why am I not picking these up? It's like my inventory is not full. Right. Finally. Okay, that'll block off the babies, too. If we can make ladders eventually, I mean, I guess we can block up with those. Uh, a gateway. I could dig through the obsidian. He clearly wants me to go down here first. Again, I have no idea if there's a wool up above us. I'm gonna dig through the obsidian, though. Yeah, you used to be able to easily tell, like, at, as the obsidian was breaking, and, like, how close you were, but at this point, I can't really distinguish at all. I'm not really a fan of a lot of, the, a lot of the new textures and stuff. Oh, well, good to know it's, uh, you know, at least two blocks thick. Oh, please break it before we start to starve. Ooh, okay, four. Four blocks thick. Oh, I don't know if it's really worth it at this point. But now I feel like I've started and I, I have to keep going. So I timed it, just counting in my head. I think it's about a minute per obsidian block with the stone pick. So thank you, F, and I'm just going to call you F for wasting eight minutes of my life. No, I'm just kidding. I'm the one who chose to sit here and dig through obsidian, even though I know that's not what you wanted the player to do. But uh, if I can get any kind of advantage in these kinds of maps, these ROM hack maps, I will take it. We should be able to access the chest now. Um, go to the nether. Paper. Leather. What did that unlock now? Uh, that unlocked nothing as far as I can tell. How do we go? Are we supposed to use this obsidian to go to the nether? I don't think there's anything else here, but I guess we should probably check to make sure. Um, 
Yeah, no, just uh, just a chest. So we're supposed to dig out the obsidian, I'm guessing, and then build a, ne a portal to the nether, which means we will probably get access to something that will allow us to mine the obsidian and collect it. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, I want to hold on to the chest, because it's one thing that we can use to actually block. Unfortunately, digging all that out means all that redstone despawned. All right, well, let's... Let's go down. I guess we'll grab another one of those guys. That's interesting. Take some more regen. Huh. I can now make... Pressure plates and buttons? Really? Like, what am I supposed to do with pressure plates and buttons? Uh, I have no idea. We know that there is a creeper spawner up here, right? We saw a creeper fall down, at least. Um. Okay. I should probably go ahead and regen some more. Right, let's eat some food and get a little higher and take out this here spawner. While we can. I don't know if these are going to be baby guys or... What? Uh... Okay, it looks like big guys. Which means our little thing here should work. This looks kind of similar to the first room. Oh, that's so just, just, ah. Uh. Spiders being able to hit through floors and stuff is just so ridiculous. Mojang, you gotta stop that stuff, guy. I think that should slow down most of the spawns. Are we going down? Are we going up? What exactly is going on, man? And please, please, go away, Mr. Spider. Uh, I, yeah, I think we have to go down, right? Right? Let's just go ahead and take you out. And there are some baby dudes, from the looks of it. All right, let's just get smacked right in the face by this guy. Twice, in fact. Twice. And, oh gosh, that's not a good place to be. Not a good place to be. Eat the foods. Uh, yep, I guess we're going down. Yeah, we should probably stick to this side, at least for now. They're dropping string. But I don't know if we're going to be able to use that in any way. So I really, really wish that these were splash potions. We got creepers down there. Uh, let's just go ahead and take you guys out. I think it's what I would like to do. And... We should probably check to see what's possible with the string, if we can. Anything? We can make wool now. 
that's actually useful. It'll burn in the lava. I guess we have oak planks too. I don't even think about that. Yeah. I'm not sure where this creeper even came from, man. Ah, we may have wanted to hold on to some of these spawners. Just so we can get lots and lots of you know, we we can't use we can't use the wood here. It's gonna burn up. So we can get lots and lots of string, though. Um. Okay. Interesting. Are we going just up and over, up and over, up and over? I think so. I think that's what's going on. And is it really just... It's just one block wide. Okay. Uh, can we get some light down? And run away. From that guy. Let's eat. And take some more regen. We'll probably need a little bit more than that even. Huh, so yeah, we're just going up, up and over, up and over, up and over. We're getting low on bedrock, but we can always go and kill some mobs, I suppose, to deal with that. Uh, that, that, that. Oh, lovely. There's blaze from the sound of it. Uh, let's... So you can hit me, but I can't hit you, huh? Mr. Spider. That's so... So unfair, guy. Oh, the poison. The poison... is gonna be deadly, and we're probably going to die here, to be honest. Um. Yeah. Feeling a little trapped here. I think that we are definitely, definitely going to die. Gosh, I need to get over to that other spawner, but it's kind of hard to get to. This regen sucks. So very bad. Okay, let's just block that off. And block that off as well. Oh gosh, I'm gonna run out of regen at this rate. Yeah, I think we can block off a lot of this stuff, in fact. Because we're just going up and down, up and down, up and down. Oh, can I not hit him like that? I should be able to hit this one though, right? Oh, look, game. I'm swinging at the at the leg. Oh gosh, that scared me. Okay, there we go. Um, sure, and sure. Gosh dang it! Oh, I think we just. I think we just. I think we just lost. Okay, well, it's um, it's an interesting, very, very frustrating map. That is, that is for certain. Uh, I don't think I'm a huge fan of the bedrock, but I don't know. I don't know. It could be. It could work. I mean, it is supposed to be one of these ROM hack hard maps, but I I think that the combination of changing all the crafting with the changes in 1.14 for me, with the difficulty level, is just making it a no-go for me. Maybe after I get a bit more comfortable with 1.14, 1 
and I uh, get more comfortable with what exactly has been changed in the map, I might try and give it another go, but I think that's going to be it for this map. I do appreciate the amount of work, though, that was put into trying to create a you know your own custom crafting and, and all of that stuff. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.